The threat to main battle tanks come from a variety of weapons, including anti-tank guided weapons and RPG-7s. The IDF has a hard combat experience, and for that reason, Raphael have developed Trophy, which is the world's only combat-proven APS. Could you give us a bit of the background as to how it evolved and what type of platforms it's on? So, um, Trophy has been developed for the past uh, 25 uh, years after the conflict uh, we had with Hezbollah back in 2006. Uh, we have uh, we were awarded with the first uh, Trophy contract for the first uh, Merkava Mark IV uh, Brigade. Uh, down the road, there has been successful operational uh, event successes with uh, Trophy defeating uh, RPG-29s and other uh, advanced uh, threats, which led to additional two contracts for Trophy. Trophy right now is uh, integrated on, installed on uh, two Merkava Mark IV brigades and one uh, Namer infantry fighting vehicle. And uh, in the next few years, it will cover the advanced uh, combat fleet, to, including Merkava Mark III. And there was a big competition in America to go on the uh, Striker and on the M1A1 and 2, and you won that competition. Well, I think that the Americans were uh, dependent, first of all, on the Israeli experience of uh, developing, fielding, and deploying a trophy. So it was a major uh, basis for their decision, but it didn't mean that they didn't want to test it by themselves. We've been uh, through a very extensive test process. I would say they brought everything to the edge, the most advanced uh, threats, uh, the most uh, challenging scenarios uh, when there. Uh, we were tested, as you can see here, in minus 25 or in plus 50 in the US desert. Uh, and they just said, we tried to kill our tank for, 40, for 48 times with no success. You would not expect any platform to absorb uh, successfully 48 shots. So I think this is uh, remarkable. And also for lighter vehicles, you've got Trophy Light, which is can go on wheel vehicles and is, is downward firing, perhaps, rather than outward firing. And that is fully qualified now. So true, uh, based on our 25 experience in developing active protection systems, it was clear that we have to come up with a low cost, low weight, I would say basic uh, solution for light tactical vehicles and medium uh, vehicles. And we call it Trophy LV because the principles or the thought behind Trophy is there. Uh, it's a different type of uh, technology. It's not a launcher base where you intercept the threat away from the platform. It is a wall mount system that shoots exactly launch uh, downwards. This integrates completely the RPG. And uh, I must emphasize that it was obvious to us that the benchmark threat is not unitary RPG anymore. We have to deal with the tandem warhead. So the unitary RPG is almost obvious, but the major threat is the tandem warheads, and this system addresses uh, both um, uh, threats, provides protection for 4x4, like the Oshkosh JLTV and Oshkosh MATV, and 8x8 vehicles like Striker, Rosomark, and others. And it's only about up 250 to 300 kilograms, so it doesn't affect the mobility of the vehicle, really. Correct. Uh, moreover, uh, if the vehicle has a basic protection of Stalag level 2, which is very, very basic, so the fragmentation caused from the uh, intercept, a trophy interception does not uh, cause any uh, risk to the platform itself. So there's no additional weight burden to the platform. I think in your presentation this morning, you did give the total number of hours of the system operating. Was that half a million or 300,000? Well, uh, we're talking about half a million operating hours in theater conditions. It means then when we talk about MTBF, mean time between failures, we're talking not about simulation of statistic, we're talking about hard data. So it means that our customers can optimize, for instance, the level of spare parts. This is one point. The other point is we're talking about safety. It means that we know, okay, that safety events cannot occur with this level of uh, operation. And again, this half a million hours were uh, conducted in theater conditions, means everything is bought, brought to the edge, unlike system that is, uh, let's say, in a test range. Thank you very much for that briefing. Thank you.